I hope you're having a great week. Look what I have brought today. A giant bowl of chocolate and candy. Do you like candy? I gotta tell you, I really love chocolate. But I'm not allowed to eat this until I'm done making this video for you guys, so I should put it away, right? You know what? It's so tempting, isn't it? It looks so yummy. Have you ever been tempted to do something you knew you maybe weren't supposed to do? Maybe when your mom or your dad asked you to clean your room, you shoved everything under the bed instead? Or at school, the teacher asks you a question and you're tempted to lie? Can I tell you guys something? It's actually not a sin to be tempted. Even Jesus was tempted. Isn't that crazy? In our gospel lesson today, we read about the temptation of Jesus. So last week we talked about Jesus being baptized, and after he was baptized, he went out into the desert to pray. He stayed there for a long time and got very hungry. He had not eaten anything because he was trying to listen to God and do what God said. I'm sure his tummy must have been rumbling from being so hungry. Suddenly, Satan came along and said to Jesus, There's no reason for you to be hungry. If you are the Son of God, you could take one of those stones and turn it into bread. Jesus was hungry. It must have been tempting. But he did not listen to Satan. He knew that Satan was trying to get him to do something wrong. Instead, Jesus answered with scripture. He said, It is written, Man should not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Next, Satan took Jesus up to the holy city, to the highest part in the temple, and he said, if you're the son of God, jump off here, and God will send his angels to save you. Jesus knew that it was wrong to test God, so he answered him saying, it's also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Finally, Satan took Jesus to a very high mountain. He showed Jesus all the world below, and he said, all of this can be yours. I will give it to you if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus answered, get away from me, Satan. It is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Three times Satan tempted Jesus and tried to get him to sin. Did he? No, Jesus did the right thing each time. He remembered what the scriptures said and helped him to resist temptation. So my friends, when you feel tempted to do what's wrong, even if you know what's wrong, do you feel tempted to take candy even though it's not time to have candy yet? Or maybe to sneak in some extra screen time with YouTube or Roblox, even though your parents have said that it's time to turn it off? Just remember that we can fight temptation with the Word of God. The more we know the Bible, the easier it is for us to fight temptation. Let's take a minute to pray. God, I thank you so much, God, that you have given us your word. I thank you that your word, which is the Bible, can encourage us and give us lots of tools to help stand up against temptation. In Jesus' name, amen. It's time now. It's over. I've resisted the temptation. It's chocolate time. Have a great week, guys. We'll see you later. Here, Pastor Merrill, here's yours. <laughs>